Hi everyone. For my book this week, I decided to read um, The Call of the Wild by Jack London. It was written in 1903. Um, it is not a true story, although it does sound like it could be a little bit, but just a summary of it. Um, the story begins with a dog named Buck living in a village, um, a community in California. Um, he doesn't really have an owner in this community, um, but he's a well-esteemed dog. He, um, the other dogs, um, the families in the community look up to Buck, um, they trust him, he is extremely, um, he's considered wise within the other dogs of the community, um, many of the puppies, um, look up to him and he's just a very well-esteemed dog. Until one day, people in the community hear of the Klondike Gold Rush in the Yukon Territory up in Canada. Um, and two men decide to capture Buck, um, violently beat him, and throw him into a train car to be sold to um, traders up in Canada, in Canada to be used as a sled dog. Um, so, Buck is sent to this community um, in the Yukon Territory with these sled dogs. He automatically recognizes that it's an extremely violent atmosphere, very aggressive. Um, he witnesses one of his um, friends get killed by some of the other dogs in the pack. Um, it's really, it's actually very sad. Um, Buck quickly learns what he needs to do to survive, um, and one day he gets into an art, he built up this rivalry with this dog named Spitz, and Spitz and Buck get into a fight one day, Spitz is the lead dog, um, they get into a fight and eventually Buck kills Spitz, um, and then Buck becomes the lead dog of that pack, um. So, Buck's life seems to be getting worse and worse. Um, he really lives a scary, terrible life. <laughs> um, until one day, they, his um, pack of dogs that he is leading, um, his sled team, they're on a mail run, a very heavy um, load of about 14 dogs, I believe it was. Um, and until a really bad snowstorm blows in, um, the men leading the sled were not very smart. Um, many of the dogs end up dying on the team. <clears throat> they are not able to survive, no food or water. Um, they're very overworked. Um, Buck is one of the five dogs to survive. The men <clears throat> um, leading the sled realize that they need to get somewhere to safety to save the rest of their dogs and themselves if they want to survive. Um, so they try to go over this icy frozen over lake. Um, they're warned not to because it was not completely frozen, but these men were so worried about getting to where they needed to be, um, until this man named John Thornton runs up to them and he says look you really shouldn't go over this lake it's dangerous um the men don't listen they're whipping the dogs trying to get them to go um buck who is leading holds back he knows that it's not safe um he's being whipped and beaten trying to get um to get going the men are trying to get buck going um until jim john thornton can't watch anymore he cuts the rope buck runs free um, John runs away as well, um, and the sled team and the two men fall through the lake because it was too thin of ice and they die, um, but Buck survives because of John Thornton. Um, Thornton becomes Buck's new owner, new master, um, they have so many great memories together, um, the love and the bond that they have is really amazing. Um, Buck has not experienced that since he was in California. Um, they achieve so many great things together. Um, 
one day Thornton and his friends were exploring an old mine um, while Buck was off um, just exploring um, making friends with some of the creatures in the area like wolves and bears and such um, Buck always returned to where Thornton was um, so Buck returns to camp to see that a group of Indians had attacked and killed Thornton and all of his friends. Um, this really made Buck angry, so Buck attacked and killed uh, most of the Indians. Um, and Buck didn't know what to do, so he ran into the wild. He became one with the wild. He joined a pack of wolves. Um, and it came all full circle. Um, he was a well-esteemed dog in that pack of wolves um, and really looked up to. Um, and then one day, or the same day, each year Buck returns to the site of the Indian attack to honor his beloved master and owner, John Thornton. Um, the theme in this book, I believe, is just like love and loyalty, um, staying loyal to your owners. I think that this is really um, well displayed on page 131 and 132 of the book. Um, I'll read a few lines. It says, Thornton had a way of taking Buck's head roughly between his hands and resting it in his own head upon Buck's, of shaking him back and forth the while calling him ill names to Buck that were love names. Um, Buck knew no greater joy than that rough embrace and the sound of murmured oaths. Um, Buck had a trick of love expression that was aching to hurt. He would often see Thor seize Thornton's hand in his mouth and close so fiercely that the flesh bore the impress of his teeth for some time afterwards. Um, the man understood this um, feigned bite for a caress. Um, Buck's love was expressed in adoration. And just goes on to express or explain the relationship that Buck and Thornton had together. It was really quite special. Um, so overall, I really liked um, The Call of the Wild. I recommend it to anyone. Um, it was an engaging book. It was a little difficult to read just because I think of the time period that it was written in. But other than that, it was a great book. It has a great message. And I recommend it.